Okay, hello, good morning, grade 12. So welcome to our General Physics 2 class. And for this lecture, we are going to discuss uh, one of the most positive components that we could see in a electronic circuit, which is capacitors, okay? So the, the learning competencies to be tackled for this lecture are the following, okay? So as of now, we are living in a world where um, we rely on electronic devices such as our phones, laptops, and um, televisions, and many more, okay? So, have you ever wondered years past, okay? Th 10 years before, okay? So, ano po ba yung daily life natin, okay? How do we utilize um, electronic devices, okay? Di ba, um, most of uh, that time, okay, we are very satisfied with just a single um, analog device, okay? For example, yung Nokia 3310, okay? Masaya na tayo na naglalaro tayo ng snake gamit yung phone na yun. Okay? Pero ngayon, okay, yung ating mga gadgets, okay, became part of our lives, okay? Hindi tayo mabubuhay ng, or hindi kompleto ang araw natin kung hindi tayo nakakapag-check ng notifications sa ating mga phones. Okay? So, Dahil po tuloy na ang pag-improve ng technology natin, okay? So, baka in the near future, hindi lang po smartphones, smartwatches ang meron tayo. Baka sa susunod, meron na rin tayo mga smart persons, just like uh, robots, okay, na makakasalamuha natin at makakasama natin on our daily life, okay? So, the basic uh, um, foundation of this technological advancement is uh, due to the electronic circuits. Okay, so yung mga um, discovery of some components that um, creates electrical network or electronic network. Okay, so um, one of uh, the most essential okay electronic components that we could be uh, we could find in our electronic devices are for example is capacitor okay so a capacitor is a component that uh, is okay its main function is to store electric charge so capacitor is a device that stores electric potential energy and electric charge, okay? So capacitors are one of the fundamental passive components. In its most basic form, it is composed of two plates separated by a dielectric. So as you can see on the rightmost part of the screen, this is an example of a capacitor. Inside the capacitor, makakakita raw po tayo ng uh, two conducting plates, okay? So separated by a dielectric, okay? In an electrical or in an electronic circuit, how do capacitor works? So, um, capacitors uh, do undergo charging process, okay? So, since meron tayong dalawang, ang composition daw ng capacitor is two conducting plates, okay? Separated by a dielectric. So, sa conducting plates natin, makakakita tayo ng electrons, uh, positive or negative electrons, okay? So, at first, our capacitors is initially uncharged. So, makikita nyo po doon sa ating mga plates, okay? So, meron tayong uh, magkakahalong bilang or magkakahalong um, uh, electrons doon sa mga plates natin, okay? So, once na kinunect po natin to with a uh, power supply, okay, for example, a battery, the um, capacitor would start charging. How? The, uh, the electrons would flow from plate A okay, to plate B or electrons would flow uh, from high potential to low potential. Okay, once na nag-flow na yung ating mga electrons dahil dun sa ating supply, supply or sa electromotive force galing dun sa supply natin, okay, so... Um, mapopolarize po natin yung ating uh, two plates. Whereas, okay, meron tayong plate with um, high potential charge and uh, meron tayong plate with low potential charge. Or meron tayong polarized plate na kung saan uh, madidistinguish po natin kung alin pong plate ang may positive at negative electrons. Okay? So, through this, may makakalculate na po tayong uh, potential difference 
doon sa capacitor. So, capacitor, kapag ka po, uh, may potential dif difference between okay, the plates of the capacitor, the capacitor could act as um, a battery. Okay? Kahit po tinanggal natin yung source connected to our capacitor, capacitor can be okay, used as a battery or temporary battery because um, capacitor can store charge and can store electric potential energy. Okay? So, um, through the charging process. So, kaya po kadalasan yung mga phones natin and our electronic device could work even though hindi po sila nakasaksak talaga sa isang uh, alternating current supply. Okay? Kasi meron po, dyan, tay meron po tayong matatagpuan dyan ng capacitors and such. Okay? So, capacitors, so the amount of energy a capacitor could hold is measured in terms of capacitance. Okay? So, the mathematical description of capacitance is equal to C, okay? Equal siya po sa Q over V, where C is our capacitance. It is measured in terms of farads or um, high case uh, F, Okay? Uh, named after who discovered capacitance, which is Michael Faraday, okay? Equal po siya sa Q, which is our magnitude of charge, okay, in terms of coulombs, and then divided by the magnitude of the electric potential V, okay? So, capacitance measures how much charge a capacitor hold per volt, okay? So, it is also the ratio of charge to volt. So, the unit used is C over V, or um, farad. Okay? So, rearranging the formula, we could also get um, the magnitude of charge due to the capacitance and the voltage. Okay? Using this expression, Q is equals to CV. So, Q is the magnitude of charge, C is the capacitance, and V is the voltage. Okay? Rearranging, okay, the amount of charge on the capacitor is determined by the size of the capacitor C and the voltage V. Okay? So, we uh, have different types of capacitor, okay? So, yung unang type is this uh, parang most basic type of capacitor. This is what we call as electrolytic. So, yung second, this is a type of a ceramic capacitor, okay? This is as a mica capacitor, okay? This is a paper capacitor. We also have a film capacitor. And lastly, we have non-polarized capacitor. Okay, so itong mga types of capacitor na to, meron pang mga iba. Okay, ito lang yung pinaka-basic at saka pinaka-madalas natin makikita sa, is sa isang electronic device. Okay, so nahati po siya sa dalawa, non-polarized saka polarized uh, capacitor. Paano pag sinabi nating non-polarized, uh, wala po siyang uh, terminals. So it's either positive or negative uh, yung uh, orientation niya sa isang schematic diagram. Yung non-polarized naman, okay, katulad po nitong ating electrolytic, so mapapansin natin, okay, meron po siyang uh, paa na hindi magkapantay. Okay, so yung paang hindi magkapantay niya, yun yung pong nagsasabi ng poles or terminals ng kapasitor. Yung mas maikli po uh, leg, yun po yung negative, tapos yung mas mahabang leg, yun yung positive. Also, may indicate din po yan, okay, kung makikita nyo may gray part dito. So, yung gray part po, kung ano yung kapantay niyang pa, ayun yung negative, okay? So, electrolytics is an example of polarized capacitor. So, ano yung difference between these types of capacitor? Bakit po meron pa tayong mga various types, okay, ng capacitor? Bakit hindi katulad ng resistor na isa lang yung itsura, okay, kadalasan? Okay, kasi ang capacitor relies on the or it is independent of its construction. So, ang pag nagkaiba po nitong mga types of capacitor na to is yung dielectric use or yung insulating material na ginamit natin, okay, sa gitna ng ating two conducting plates. Okay, so, sa electrolytic, electrolytes yung dielectric. Sa ceramic, ceramic. Okay, sa mica, it's silver. Yata, not, not, not sure. Then, paper. Paper yung dielectric sa paper capacitor. Film naman sa film capacitor and polar, uh, sa non-polarized katulad po yung sa electrolytic. Okay? Kasi the construction of the material or how the capacitor made, okay? So, um, 
uh, tells okay how much capacitance it could store in its um, uh, cell itself. Okay, so for uh, also uh, how do we um, construct a capacitor? Kailangan din po nating I take into consideration yung volume and area of the specifically the area of your um, storage. Okay, kasi dito makikita natin mas iba-iba rin sila ng uh, area and size. Iba-iba sila ng itsura. So, yung uh, pagkakagawa, okay, talaga dun sa capacitor, dun po tayo nagre-rely kung gano'ng kadaming capacitance yung kaya niyang mag-store. Okay? So, it is expressed using the mathematical equation. Okay? C is equals to K epsilon naught A over D. Okay, where C is our capacitance, K is our dielectric constant, epsilon naught is the permittivity of uh, free space, uh, plate area po yung ating A, and B is the distance between our plates. Okay, so ganito po yung uh, schematic diagram, okay, or yung diagram nung uh, equation na to. Okay, so we all know that... Uh, Epsilon naught or the permittivity of free space is equals to the constant 8.85 times 10 raised to negative 12. Pero ang ginagamit na po natin unit but in terms of capacitance is a farad over meter. Okay? Area um, A is the plate area. So, depende po yan kasi di ba may iba't iba tayong types ng capacitor. So, ano yung area ng plate na to? Yun. Doon po yung nakadepende. Pero kadalasan sphere po, 4 pi r squared, yung ginagamit. And um, D is the distance between our plates. And then lastly, we have K. So K is our dielectric constant. So the dielectric constant is um, dependent on the specific property of our material used. Okay, for example, in vacuum, okay, K is equals to 1.0 sa Pag air naman yung ginamit as dielectric constant, K is equals to 1.006 times uh, 1.006. Okay? So, um, dielectric constant may be given in some problems and um, we also have, uh, it is searchable on the internet. So, depending po kung anong ginamit, my paper, ceramic, mica, uh, film, or what capacitor are you going to use? Okay? So, if um, due to the effect of the dielectric constant, okay, kasi kadalasan hindi po given si dielectric constant, kadalasan given siya in a problem. So, uh, pwede po natin compute if ever na binigyan po tayo ng difference of the effect of the dielectric constant using this equation calculating for the capacitance. Okay, CK or capacitance with the effect of a dielectric constant is equals to KC naught or um, capacitance without okay, the dielectric constant. Okay? Kapag voltage naman yung hinahanap natin, we could, use, we could use this expression, V sub K, or uh, voltage with dielectric effect, okay, is equals to V naught, voltage without, and over the uh, given value of dielectric constant. Okay? So we also have um, the relationship between energy and capacitance because um, as we all know, uh, capacitors could uh, store energy in its uh, system. So meron din po tayong uh, equation na ginagamit for calculating energy with relation to capacitance. So from our expression, Q is equals to CV and V is equals to QZ, Q over C, so, ang given po talaga nating equation for energy in terms of capacitance is um, U or capital letter U is equals to one half um, charge multiplied by the voltage. Okay, so if our, we are going to derive another formula of um, energy or potential energy U, so substituting CV, okay, so mag arrive po tayo sa equation na potential energy is equals to one-half CV squared. Okay, another, if we are going to use this expression, potential energy U is equals to Q squared over 2C. So, lahat po ito, ang ginagamit pong unit is in joules kasi po ay, ang kinocompute natin ay uh, energy. 
Okay, supplementary formula is um energy density. Okay, for example, kasi baka hanapin din or uh, this measure how much, okay, energy stored in the system, how much uh electrical potential energy is stored in the system. So it is um denoted by small letter u. Okay? So wag pong malilito. Kapag electric potential energy capital U, kapag uh, Energy density, lowercase u. So, equal po siya sa one-half epsilon naught multiplied by the magnitude of our electric field squared. Okay? The units used for uh, energy density is equals to joule per meter, per cubic meter. Okay? J per m cube. Okay? So, that would be the end of this discussion. So, kindly tune in to our Google Classroom for your... Um, learning activity sheets and before I ended up this discussion, I want to leave this quote to you. So be a diode, remove negative thinking, transistor to amplify your character, resistor to drop bad habits, and capacitor to store good uh, thoughts. For an electrifying life, above components are a mass. Okay, so that would be all for this lecture. See you again. Goodbye and thank you.